hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to send an email with your visual c++ windows form application so let's see how uh, can we send a email first of all i have designed a form for sending email and i have taken 1 2 3 4 5 6 text boxes and six labels and I have named the labels as username from password to the subject and SMTP server or SMTP okay I also take a rich text box from here I will show you this one I have dragged and dropped here and this is a rich text box you can take a simple text box also but I prefer rich text box and I have taken a button called send mail okay so this much amount of text box labels and rich text box and button so take them and design like that uh, I also want to show you the names of my text boxes so username text box name is text box username from text box name is from text box from password text box name is text box password to text box name is text to subject text box name is text box subject and SMTP text box name is text box SMTP and the rich text box name as rich text box underscore body okay so remember these name I'm going to use these name in the code that's why I show you these name and then I will click this send mail button double click it and go to the top of your form and wherever you have using namespaces declaration you need to take two things using namespace system double colon web and using namespace system double colon net dot double colon mail so write these two things wherever you are using namespace declaration is there and now go little below where your initialize component function is there this function is called whenever your form starts running so this is the first function which is which start running so go there and go in that function whatever your form name is void and go there and you need to write this in order to save your password otherwise your password will appear as you write it so for example you want to enter a password one two three four it will appear on the password text box as it is but I want to show don't want to show my password so that's why I show these dollar signs instead of showing my password so what you do write text box underscore password which is uh, the name of this text box right we have seen uh, earlier and arrow pointer password care is equal to whatever character you want to show instead of your original password in my case I am showing dollar sign so write this wherever your initial like um, initialize component is there just below that okay now once again we will go to the form 
and we will double click our send mail button and in here I will write a code for sending the mail so first of all the declaration for the mail so write mail message this cap symbol mail is equal to GC new mail message and then you need to write this in the brackets write text box form arrow pointer text so this is from text box name which is this text box name okay if you remember I showed you the names so write text box for from arrow pointer text so this will take a text from text box from and put it here comma text box to text box to name arrow pointer text comma text box subject name so this text box name and then arrow pointer text and the body text box name so rich text box underscore body arrow pointer text these four things you need to pass in this brackets okay so once again declare mail message arrow pointer mail gc new mail message and the four text boxes arrow pointer text text box from arrow pointer text text box to arrow pointer text text box subject and the body of the text okay and then you will have to declare the SMTP client so write SMTP cap client is equal to GC new SMTP client and the text, uh, text box name of SMTP client arrow pointer text so this text box name and then arrow pointer text you need to write if you are using yahoo mail so what is a SMTP server name it's like that if uh, gmail is providing a smtp server or you are using the gmail smtp server you need to write smtp.gmail.com so for example smtp.gmail.com if you are using yahoo then you need to write smtp.yahoo.com so it's like that you need to write into your smtp text box okay then write smtp client number client arrow pointer port 587 so this comes from the port number for from gmail for example so if you search on internet for example I want to search the port number for gmail so I write smtp server for gmail port number and I opened a result for that and you can see all the server details it has gmail has port number 465 or 587 in the same way you can find the port number of other email providers on internet it's very easy to find so I'm choosing 587 from here am I and I'm writing that number here so client which is this variable name and arrow pointer port is equal to 587 then write client arrow pointer credentials is equal to GC new system double colon net double colon network credentials and you need to pa pass your username and password so 
take text box of username so I will copy the name of your my username text box which is this text box username and I will pass it here text box arrow pointer text comma text box password arrow pointer text bracket and bracket closed so this is client arrow pointer cr credentials is equal to gc new system double colon net double colon network credential and you need to pass your username and password here and then write client enable SSL is equal to true so this will do the secured connection with your gmail SSL is a secured connection so if you want to use it write client arrow pointer enable SSL is equal to true and then write client arrow pointer send and in the bracket write mail which is this uh, variable name mail message variable name and if your message is sent then we will show the message message box double colon show message sent this is the name of your message box and this is the title of your message box so success and comma we will provide the ok button for with your message box so write this ok so this is the code for sending the email ok if you want you can pause the video and copy the code and now when we run our program and I will go to the mail form here then I will write the username in my case my username is same as my email ID so I will write my email ID and from so I'm writing from my email ID so my username and password is same not username and password but my username and my email address is same so I will write that and then I will pass my password which is shown in dollar sign and I want to send the email to myself so I will write the same email ID subject hi YouTube and the SMTP server which is this one smtp.gmail.com and then I will write some text for example I YouTube hello something like this and some text and I will press this send mail button and my mail is sent and let's check if my mail is transferred or not and yes my mail is transferred you can see it here so in this way you can send an email with the help of your visual C++ windows form application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.